This is without a doubt the most vibrant, colorful design I have ever seen come from a print-on-demand company. I've done a lot of print-on-demand company reviews, but none have been quite like this. Today, there is going to be a large focus on printing because this company has adopted a brand new printing method and it's revolutionary. The company in question is Custom Cat. And if you've never heard of them, great. But if you have heard of them, keep watching because I bet you didn't know this. I just want to say a quick thank you to Custom Cat for agreeing to sponsor this video, even though they don't know the outcome of the review. Custom Cat is a US-based company that was founded in 2015. The reason they caught my eye is because they don't follow the traditional methods of printing. There are a few types of printing methods, and later on, we're going to go over them in more detail. I like that they're trying something new. It's a breath of fresh air, especially in the print-on-demand world, where the majority of companies have really terrible printing quality. Let's start by checking out their website. Everything we need is here, laid out in a really basic way. It may not be the prettiest site, full of flair, but quite honestly, it's very practical and easy to use. Now, most importantly is who do they integrate with? So firstly, they integrate with Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and a really cool option here is Custom Cats API. So you could build your own custom website with code and HTML and all the other things that I don't really know much about. And you could put Custom Cats API on your website. There's really only five simple steps to get started. One, create an account. Two, link to a store like Etsy or Shopify. Three, upload some designs. Four, put those designs on products and send them to your chosen store. And five, market your store to get sales. Once signing up, we're presented with three options. If you're selling a large amount every single month, then Custom Cat Pro might be the best option as you get access to pretty steep discounts. For now, we're going to stick with the free. Our account follows the same basic styling we saw on the main site. It's not pretty, but it's incredibly practical. The design upload area is a bit clunky, but I think it just takes some time to get used to. And when uploading, I recommend following the advice they give in their art guide down here. This way you can ensure you get the best quality. Right, we've now ordered various items with DTG printing and Digisoft printing. As well as that, I've also ordered something from Printful with DTG printing, just so we have another company to compare it to. This order is coming from America, so whilst we wait, let me tell you some really important facts about Custom Cat. There's no integrated marketplace. Custom Cat handles all the shipping and the complicated stuff. And the cost of shipping isn't bad either. It's not the best, but we can't expect much from a print on demand company at the end of the day. I'm pretty happy with. Oh, it's here. One minute. That was faster than I thought it was going to be. First, we're gonna look at the material quality. Is it made well? You know, the stitching, the feel, is it soft and warm? Then we're gonna have a look at the printing quality. Is this Digisoft stuff actually any good? Then we're going to stick it all in the wash and see if it survives. In terms of quality, this is the next level t-shirt. And I mean, there's no surprises here. It's pretty good. You've got, there's a nice double stitching. It's very, very, very soft. In terms of quality of material, I'm very happy with that. Next, we've got this hoodie. Now, this is just a Gildan Heavy Blend, I believe. I don't think it's necessarily the best quality, but it's not the worst. It's, it's just classic print-on-demand quality. The thing that is not usually so good 
is the printing quality, which is why I wanted to review this company because I want to see what all the hype is about with Digisoft. First, let me tell you what the heck Digisoft even is. Well, with DTG, which is direct to garment, the speed and scalability is excellent, much better than DTF. However, the quality and consistency and color vibrancy really suffers. Usually garments are preheated, so they actually come with that horrible vinegar smell to it, which you don't get with Digisoft. But most importantly, because with DTG, the ink has to soak into the fabric, it doesn't have such a long life and it can fade very quickly. And there are reviews and reports all over the internet about people's print on demand t-shirts fading after a few washes or just fading in general. And that's awful. How would you feel if you spent $25 on a t-shirt to wear it three times? DTF stands for direct to film. And the quality and color is a lot better with this printing method. But it's very hard to scale and that's because the printing process takes a lot longer. Finally, Digisoft is like a cool hybrid. It combines all the best qualities, the speed of DTG, and even better quality than DTF. This doesn't require the ink to soak into the fabric, nor does it float on the top. The adhesion process is different and allows the colors to stay far more vibrant whilst also lasting a much longer time. I'm gonna open this, which is all the DTG printing stuff, and I'm gonna compare it with this Digisoft stuff. What we have here is a hoodie with DTG and a hoodie with Digisoft. Now, straight out the bat, I know they are different sizes. Firstly, the thing that st stands out to me most is the vibrancy. The vibrancy here is just night and day. Look how bright the yellows are just above the eye of this tiger. Whereas here, it doesn't even look like it's yellow at all. Likewise with the blue. Now I specifically went for this design because everyone said Digisoft has really good vibrancy, really good quality, and we can see that here. Now, if we look closely at the DTG, we can kind of see a bit of cracking. It's not very soft to the touch, it's a bit, itchy and scratchy and just in general it looks slightly I want to say pixelated right it doesn't look right now with Digisoft it's different I'll put it that way it's more plasticky you know so you can kind of hear it right it's not it's not the type that looks and feels like it's woven into the fabric like we've reviewed previously instead it looks like it kind of sits on top and it's just stuck there but that isn't a bad thing because if we have a look at it, the quality is absolutely fantastic. Like world-class quality and the color vibrancy of it, this is what I'm really liking because when I'm designing something on my computer, it's nice to be able to see it on a hoodie. Now I wanna show you one more thing and that is comparing it with the Printful's DTG. We've got DTG of Custom Cat, we've got this new Digisoft Custom Cat. Now let's open Printful's DTG printing. So, I, oh, the smell, it's just hit me. If we compare the three of them together, you've got Printful's DTG here, Custom Cat's DTG, and then Custom Cat's Digisoft. Now Printful's DTG is vibrant, it's a better quality than Custom Cat's DTG. And if we compare the Digisoft printing, to Printful's DTG, you have Custom Cat quality consistent throughout all of their designs, which I think is really cool. We have so many other designs here, which you'll see in the B-roll. Now, as well as the clarity and the quality, it's very, very vibrant. Now, I can see this DTG on Printful is also quite vibrant. I'll give it that. It's not completely bland. However, it's not as vibrant. The yellows aren't as yellow. The blues aren't as blue. Definitely Digisoft is gonna get the win here without a doubt. However, what I wanna do now is a wash test because I have never washed Digisoft stuff. Very annoyingly, our washing machine is actually broken. So I'm gonna gather all this stuff up, put it in a bag and take it to my parents and wash it there because we don't have any laundromats nearby and where else does one go? when their washing machine is broken.
So I've put it on a quick wash. There's 25 minutes left on the machine, as you can see. And after the wash is done, I'm gonna let you know, was it good? You know, did the stuff stay on? Is it cracking? Is it peeling off? We'll find out soon. All the designs are now out of the wash. It's been a few days because I wanted to let them get dry naturally. But we have a lot to talk about here because we need to decide whether or not this company is actually any good. We're gonna go with the line and we're just gonna talk about the line and see how well it did after the wash test. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, I have to say, this is without a doubt the most vibrant, colorful design I have ever seen come from a print on demand company. And to me, that's amazing. But then on top of that, there's no cracking after the wash with with this one. Um, I have to say though, I did have one t-shirt where it cracked just a tiny bit. I mean, you can see here, this tiny, tiny, if I stretch it, there's tiny bits of cracking coming along this car. So I would suggest get a few samples from Custom Cat, do your own washes, try out your, your designs, try out different colors, all of that, and then decide whether or not you want to switch over to using Custom Cat. Because personally, if I was a customer and I received this, I would be very, very happy. And I think that's something you have to consider. You do not want your customers to be unhappy. And unfortunately, in the print on demand world, when they get a design and it lasts three or four washes, they're never gonna come back. They'll probably leave a bad review and they don't know it's not your fault. It's not accurate 100% of the time, as I showed with this other design. Sometimes they slip up. Right, but very, very few times that actually happens. So all in all, I do think this is a great company. I think they've got a very easy to use website. I think their designs are really nice. You know, they're very vibrant, very colorful. So go and check them out. What's the worst that can happen? Order a couple of samples, see how it goes. And if you're a big time seller, definitely go for that pro account where you'll get 20 to 40% off. And let me know in the comments down below what you think with your samples if you ever decide to get them. Thanks so much for watching.